All right, folks. Sometimes out of the mouths of babes, off time comes gems, right? And this is from a, not even a female subscriber, but a female viewer talking about the myth of white womanhood because I had a, a hangout talking about the white, white, the myth of white womanhood. And she's disagreeing with me, but in her disagreement, she's actually saying exactly what I've been saying over the past couple of weeks or so. So I, I want to read this to you and then I'll be back on the other side. This is from BP. This is off of my BGS for Women channel. BP says, I'm sorry, maybe I'm confused here, but I don't think that black women want to be white. I think that black women just want this white women get on a daily basis from both white and non-white men alike. And as an Afro-Latina, I can attest that men across the board do treat white women better. It's depressing to know that no matter how much I try, I won't be given the same respect, love and adoration from a man of any race because of the color of my skin. Some black women think the hate against black women is just a black man thing, but it's not. Every man wants a white woman. And honestly, I don't blame black men or any non-white man who only wants white women because it's not their fault that society taught them to hate everything that isn't white. White women affords them the opportunity to give their kids a better life by not having to suffer the struggles of being black in this world. It sucks, but I don't think there is anything non-white women can do about it. That's the main reason I froze my eggs since marriage at this rate may not be a possibility for me. And that is from BP. That's a comment from BP. And I did respond to her, not a lengthy comment, because, you know, I don't like doing lengthy comments in my comment section. I don't debate in my comment section. At least I try not to. But notice what she says. The myth of white womanhood is not being white. It's not about being white. I never said that white black women wanted to be white. White femininity is the goal the status of white women, the status of Miss Anne. Now, they women take on the accoutrements of Miss Anne, the light hair, trying to lighten their skin, maybe lighten their eyes. Because what? She just said it. Black women just want the same special treatment that white women get on a daily basis from both white and non-white men alike. You hear that? Did you hear that? What have I been saying about the myth of white womanhood? And what was actually the goal of black women? What did I say? They want to be Miss Anne. And why does she say, why does she say? And I said, according to her, I can attest that men across the board do treat white women better. And this is her experience that white women get treated better than women of color. She doesn't say why white women get treated better than women of color. But in her eyes, the reason that white women get treated better by men of color or white men, period, is because of the color of their skin. You notice she never said anything about attitudes. She never said anything about culture or how they were brought up or money or anything. It's about the color of their skin. Listen, listen to this. It's depressing to know that no matter how much I try to hear that, it's depressing to know that no matter how much I try, I won't be given the same respect, love and adoration from a man of any race because of the color of my skin. Can we say colorism? Can we say featureism? Can we say white, the jealousy of white women? Can we say that? I don't have to say it. She's saying it. She's an Afro-Latina. She's saying it. Let me say, get this. Some black women think uh, think the hate against black women is just a black man, but it's not. In other words, what, she, the, what she's saying is what most black women think. I'm not saying all most black women think Be if you date or like a white woman, you means you hate them. She's saying that. Do you hear what I'm saying? This is out of her own mouth. This is a black woman that's honest. 
She's absorbed the material and she's honest. Listen to this. This is gold. This is gold. Black men, listen to this. This is gold. Every man wants a white woman. And honestly, I don't blame black men or any non-white man who wants who wants white women because it's not their fault that society taught them to hate everything that isn't white. This is a lens coming from a black woman. She's telling you the truth. This is what this is how they see anything. How they see stuff because it taught them to hate everything that isn't white. She's projecting. Hear that? She's projecting. This everything that I've been saying about black women as opposed to white women. She's saying it right here. I said, white women affords them the opportunity to give their kids a better life by not having to suffer the struggles of being black in this world. Boom. Baby, I couldn't have said it better. Boom. What do I always say? The prime directive of a female or a woman is. What have I been saying? to give her offspring the best chance in any environment. And since we are in a white dominant environment, what does that mean? White skin. What did she just say? It don't get no plainer than that. She's projecting. She's projecting her wants, her objective, her needs onto men. In other words, she thinks be is because that's what she wants. That's what men want. It doesn't matter how much men tell them what the opposite is because they can't see it, because they can't internalize your answer. You hear this, she's being honest. This is gold. She needs white skin to give her children. She don't blame black men, that's what she's saying. Because if it was her, she would do the same thing because it would give her kids a better opportunity. She said, it sucks, but I don't think there's anything non-white women can do about it. Shame, guilt, and the need to be right. Shame, I, there's nothing I, there's, I don't think there's anything that white women can do about it. That's to, you see, that's the reason that main reason I froze my ex since marriage at this rate may not be a possibility for me. In other words, she doesn't think she can get married because she's not white. She's blaming everything on her being not white because that is the gold standard of femininity in her eyes. It's not the attitude. She ain't said nothing about attitude. She ain't said nothing about agreeability. She ain't said nothing about culture, education, money, nothing. She said white skin, being white. If you ever notice when black women talk about why you choose one woman over another, it's always looks. If they, they always say that you prefer a white woman because of white skin, then they think that every man on the planet wants a white woman because if it was her, she would want a white woman. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear me, fellas? This is coming from a woman. I have talked about the myth of white womanhood for about two weeks. And I think I have about six videos on it. And you know, six videos plus some hangouts on it. And sometimes I'm rather forceful. My language can be rather strong. But then what, what I notice is that I've done six. Now, one has done more than all the other, twice what all the other ones combined are. Twice, I've done six, 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 count them, six videos on the myth of white, white woman, and even one where there's including men. I have a video that's actually going bonkers. It's got over 2,000 comments. In 10 days, it's got 2,000 comments and damn near 50,000 views. And I don't have a channel that can that should be able to generate 50,000 views and 2,000 comments. But the, and the other ones, I think the, the, the highest one of the other ones that I did, I think the original one, Myth of White Woman, only got like 9,000 views. Now, why is the one, the, the original one where I actually posited this, only has a fifth of the ones, of the one uh, that's most popular, that's almost just damn near viral. You know what the difference is? Is that the one that's going viral has James Earl Jones with a white woman. And the first thing, the first one was the myth of white womanhood and black female jealousy. And every woman to a woman said it wasn't because of white women, that they weren't jealous of white women and they didn't have a low level hatred for white women. 
But when they saw James Earl Jones next to that white woman, and he wasn't, he was giving sisters a pass. If you listen to what he was saying, he wasn't throwing sisters under the bus. He was saying that he was saying that they are the way they are. It's one because of the system, and two because black men let them down whether it was their fault or not. They didn't hear any of that. All they saw was James Earl Jones talking about black women next to a white woman. And now I got 2000 comments, which a lot of them I had to actually delete because they were so angry. 2000 comments and 50,000 views. Does that make sense? All because there's a white woman and, and nobody ever talks about very, I, there's a, only a handful of, comments that even talk about what he says most of the negative comments come because there's a white woman in it which is what i was saying in my original video that the reason that there's so much angst about a black man being with a white woman is because it's not about the man it's about white womanhood and white femininity that black women don't think they can attain and every black woman said it was bunk until this one. And she did it because she disagreed with me. I never said that white, that black women wanted to be white. They don't want to be white. They'd rather be themselves, but they want what white women have, which is white womanhood. Because the prevailing standard of femininity is white womanhood, according to the myth. They don't feel protected by their men because they're not protected as they see it like white women are, which is the same thing that I said. We, we don't build for them because we haven't given them the global empire that the white men had. The white man didn't do it for white women. The white, the white man did it because he wanted to eat. He wanted to be on top, had nothing to do with women. It's number one, okay? But black women think that the, the white man actually built this whole global empire because they wanted to do for do it for white women it's first myth second myth is that the miss and the black women want to be is less than 10 percent of the population but is that myth or that white woman femininity that they want that they think they want can only be given to them by who the white man because the black man can't give it to them and they, which is exactly what i've been saying for over two weeks it's baked in it's part of the culture. It's been learned a long time ago and passed down. I tried to tell you that in Sojourner Truth speech. She was asking for white womanhood, which is the same reason that black women keep taking the side of white women. That, that, jo, that, that Jolene chick that went viral because she dissed black men. Black women jumped in on that. Because now a white woman was agreeing with her and saying everything that they wanted to hear out of her mouth because she's white. Now, when that same thing happened with Crystal and Karazin, when the veganator jumped all over her, she was crying because black men didn't come in and defend her. And the same chick that cried about black men not coming in, in to defend her. And I'm, you know, I'm actually going to do something about that. The same chick that cried about black men not defending her, even though she's married to a white man, that black men didn't come defend her because she was black. That same chick, when a, when a white woman went in on black men, guess who had her on? You guessed it. And that's what black men are talking about. Black women do not walk the, the don't walk the talk. It's a one-sided deal. But the thing is, what I want, what I, all I did all this for, this whole exercise, this whole thing, this whole exercise is one to show brothers exactly what the truth is. That this where 90 percent of your angst comes in is not from what you do. It's something that's already baked in if for something that you can't do, which is the real reason that. Beyonce, who's worth half a billion dollars, and Jay-Z, who's married to Jay-Z, who's worth a billion dollars, still complains about Becky with the good hair. A billion dollars cannot buy you white womanhood. It can't make you, make you feel better about it because you can get on a private jet and you can take fancy vacation, make you feel better about it, but it still doesn't satisfy you because he can't give you white womanhood, which is the reason Serena Williams married a white dude. Who had, who's worth a tenth of what she's worth. 
less than a tenth of what she's worth. And she's happy with it because he can elevate her in her eyes to what she wants, which is white womanhood, at least for now. And I wanted to actually not throw sisters under the bus. I wanted to lift the covers off of the angst, off of, uh, open that closet and actually shine a light in on what's going on because that's the revelation that I have. It's not about the guys. But it's all, but you look at my comment section on James Earl Jones alone, all they talk about is black men wanting white women because that's what they believe. And you know, damn near every woman in that section and sometimes half of the half of the male simps said the exactly same thing. Why don't you stop talking about going and get you a white woman? They never listen to what I said because in their minds, every man wants a white woman. Why? Because every black woman in her heart really wants to be that. She wants the same status that white women have and she can't have it. So she doesn't blame. Secretly, they don't blame black men. They think every black man, if he could, would run off and get a white woman because if it was them, that's what they would do. That's like when they call you a traitor, a sellout, a coon, because you took the easy way out. You, 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 we knew that you wanted a white woman all along and you went on and done it instead of sticking with your woman. They think that she has what they don't, which is femininity, which is white womanhood. And because you're with a white woman, you get white womanhood, something that the black woman thinks that she can't give to you. This is deep seated shit. Deep seated psychological shit that's been planted in black women's minds for the past 200 years and they refuse to dig it out. Hell, it might be, it might as well be 1717, 300 years ago rather than 2017 because the mindset is still the same. That's the way women thought 200 years ago, exact same thing, they wanted to be Miss Anne. They still do. And that poison is spread throughout all over the world now, but none so rich and so deeply seated as what we see here in the United States. And every slight, every bit, every inch that white women do or black men side with white women, it cuts them deeply. Now they can side with white women. They can side with white women against their men. This me too. You don't see black women uh, going up against white women in, in, the, in, in protection of their men, do you? Do you? Black women jumped on that Me Too, you know, even though it was a hashtag invented by a black woman, black women have jumped on this Me Too just like everybody else has. Right along with that white, riding shotgun, right along with that white woman. Riding shotgun. Not saying all, because I know that's what's gonna come. Not saying all, but most. Now I thought I was done with this because I was gonna close off. I was trying to get rid. I was trying to get rid of this subject because I'm actually frankly tired of it. I am frankly tired of constantly cleaning out my comment section over James Earl Jones because he's next to a white woman. I'm, I was tired of it. I am weary of it because I was done with. I was actually done with the subject. I said what I said. I made my videos and I was trying to move on to something else because the other stuff is piling up. But like a couple of my commenters said, you, I struck a nerve. I have struck a nerve. It's like a hailstorm coming down and there's a lot of hit dogs out there that are yelping. And most of them don't want to look at the evidence because they know I'm right. But they don't want to examine it because it's too hard, it's too deeply seated. And it's much too easier to blame black men. So black women, take your blue pill, go back to sleep and believe whatever it is you want to believe. Don't take the red pill because the red pill means truth and that's too hard. It is what it is and I probably ran it on this too long, but it's something that frustrates me. They say a prophet is never known in his own village and he's chased out of nine. I'm gonna leave you with that quote. And as always, this is BGS out and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one.